I want. So in this lesson, we are going to have a look at some of the useful tips for you as well as how you could improve your IELTS speaking skills at home, right? So in the first bit of the lesson, we'll be having a look at tips. And in the second bit of the lesson, we'll be having a look at how you can improve your IELTS speaking skills or rather your speaking skills at home. Now, a few tips for you would be like, okay, if you need a band nine, can you actually get it? Yes, you can. I've had students in the past who have got a nine band score and it is possible, right? So you need to remember not to be shy. Speak with the examiner and enjoy what you're talking about. Not be like, oh God, I don't know why I have to talk about reading, right? Without that attitude, enjoy all the topics that are given to you. Your facts and ideas are not what is mostly important. What is mostly important? Your language skills. You can talk about simple ideas, but you can use excellent communication skills, which covers vocabulary as well as grammar. So you should be able to speak excellent in English. Be confident and showcase your language skills. Review topics before you go for the exam. Practice is the key to success, okay? Practice, 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 practice. That is your main tip and your key towards success, right? Think of your experiences relating to topics and views when you're practicing. Speak from your heart. Now, I told you it's good to lie. It's okay. Not good. It's okay to lie if you don't know something. Don't keep on lying for every topic because then that's going to be a problem. You might forget the correlation between your answers. So don't do that always. If you don't know something, that's fine. But if not, try not to lie. It doesn't say don't lie, it says try not to lie, okay? Learn to express yourself really well using language. Now, another tip is about your pace of speaking. Should you speak really fast? Should you speak really slow? Well, I would tell you keep a steady pace. Avoid speaking too fast. Avoid speaking too slow. Now let's try too fast. Avoid speaking too fast as you may lose your coherence and the words may not be clear. Can you understand? No. Not good. Let's have a look at a slow example. Avoid speaking too slow because the listener, can you understand? Mm -mm. By the time you get to the end of the sentence, the listener might not understand what you were talking about at the start of the sentence, okay? So it's not good. Don't talk too fast, don't talk too slow. And don't take long pauses. Pausing is fine after an idea, like a very short pause, not go, um, and then keep looking because that's a long pause, okay? Right. Should you correct yourself or keep talking? As you know, self-correction is a marking criteria under fluency. So don't go back and keep on correcting yourself. Go along with the flow. So the mistake that you made, it's okay. Just go ahead speaking along, but don't make the same mistake again. So that's what is really important, okay? Now, are all the parts of the IELTS speaking test equally important? Yes. Nothing is like, you know, oh, part one is really important. Oh, no, part three is really important. No such thing. All the parts are equally important and your examiner will check your language skills using the four marking criteria for each part of the test, okay? Does the examiner have model answers? No, there are no model answers. Now, when I'm doing the lessons, obviously, I will give you some model answers to guide you. But remember, 
that's really not a good thing okay what is important because i have to teach you i put up model answers but what is important for you is to go through those and think about how you could answer the question differently okay there is no right or wrong answer your score is only calculated on your ability of speaking okay the level and the range of your english and accuracy it does not matter in terms of you know is your answer right or wrong it only depends on your language skills very very important if you do not answer one question will it affect your score well if you perform really well and you couldn't answer one maybe it doesn't really affect that much but if you don't answer questions a lot right yes it might you know affect a lot okay so it says if you perform well and produce good english in the other questions your score will not get affected very badly because you know it's just one question but basically for all the questions you don't answer and you don't answer properly yes it's going to affect your score uh, badly okay will you get a low score if you can't think of many ideas well unlike the writing test the speaking test only checks your language skills so we're looking at fluency vocabulary grammar and pronunciation so the number of ideas that you give in will not be assessed so it's not important can you use contractions can you use wanna gonna well they are accepted in terms of contractions will be accepted because when you speak obviously we use contractions okay uh, um in fact it will boost your score for pronunciation so you can talk in speaking language well i want to go out and enjoy um we were going to go out last weekend we were going to go out going to go out okay we were going to go out no so we speak in the speaking way so we were going to go out last week but we actually couldn't make it well do you want to come over with us so it will be the normal way of speaking it's actually good can you use gap fillers well it is okay for like a couple of ums right but if you keep on saying um 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 mm, mm, um um that's not good okay so you can say well um i was thinking that's okay that kind of gap fill is okay nothing more than that right so is it possible to lie in ielts yes it is possible as i told you but you don't really have to if you know the answer okay so when you lie it requires imagination and then it's hard for you to focus on the question so avoid i wouldn't say avoid say try not to lie okay unless it's really needed okay focus on telling the truth and using intonation pronunciation and fluency techniques so example who is your favorite news reporter now well if you don't have a favorite news reporter i mean the painting i could lie can you lie about a news reporter mm no might be the case you can say well i don't have one to be honest i don't have much interest in listening or watching to news unless it's quite necessary so i can tell you about the news reporter who i see on tv regularly when my father watches the news so you could use something like that okay now comes the second part of the lesson how can you improve your ielts speaking at home well i'd like you to start by getting a list of common topics okay so you can watch the advanced lesson uh, of for speaking lesson 4 well that will have some common topics and you can collect a lot of topics from the internet choose difficult um topics and topics that you wish to practice and start practicing develop ideas around it and you can also make yourself some questions and ask and answer at home you can do this on your own write down the new words that you use maybe they are synonyms maybe they are antonyms maybe they are related words to that topic jot them down have a separate book for this 
answer your own questions and record them. Very, very important when you speak, record it, re-listen and see, okay, where can I improve it? Don't write answers. Please, please don't practice this writing habit for answers because you don't get time to write at the IELTS exam, right? So what you actually need to do is actually speak, okay? So what you need to do is you can write down the questions and then give out the answers without writing the answers in your notebook. Listen to your answer and then check where can you improve fluency, vocabulary, grammar. The most important thing is practice, 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 practice. While practicing, record all your lessons. So, have a look at the criteria below. Now, when we have a look at fluency and cohesion, did you develop your answer well? You can answer these questions at home, listen to your answer and say, okay, have I developed my answer well? Have I given examples for the necessary questions depending on the part? Does your answer have a good flow? Okay. Did you have a lot of gap fillers which disrupts while you're talking? Okay, like, um, uh, you know what I mean, like that, those kind of words. Did you have long pauses? Ask yourself and listen to it and see and then re-record it again. Criteria two, did you use a variety of words? Have you paraphrased your ideas? Did you make a lot of mistakes? When it comes to grammar, did you use a variety of sentences? Did you use a variety of tenses? Sentence structures and tenses are different, right? Did you make a lot of mistakes? So you have to think about it. The last one is pronunciation. You can use online dictionaries, okay? And the phonemic chart. So let me show you how you can use an online dictionary. All right, so let me just show you what you can do, right? Where you can open up the Google page and write down Cambridge um, Dictionary. Okay, and then you get the Cambridge Dictionary right on top. So let's type in a word. So we're going to type in chef. Oops. Chef. C-H-E-F. Right, okay. So, and then we're going to click on the search button and off we go. Can you see here? We've got the word. So you can actually listen to if you click on this icon. Chef. Chef. And here you also have the phonic letters, okay, um, which I have taught you time to time in your vocab and speaking lessons. So this is chef. Chef. Okay, right, okay, and it also gives you, um, it's a noun, it's a common noun, part of speech. It gives you the meaning, who is a chef, okay, and it's a really good online source, online dictionary, okay. All right, so, did you articulate your words correctly? Um, and did you articulate the individual sounds correctly? Okay, so that means that did you pronounce the word properly and have you got the individual sounds properly? Okay, um, like, you know, you wouldn't want to say hotel, okay, because it's not hotel, okay? So that word itself is wrong, but, you know, you've got hotel, but it should be hotel, hotel, O sound, okay, hotel, okay? So did you maintain the appropriate intonation. The most important thing is for you to do all of these things, you must, must, must practice. And while practicing, you must record it because if you don't record it, you can't go back and answer any of these questions because there's nothing for you to listen and there's nothing for you to go back and correct. All right, so I think we've had a look at some tips which are useful for you and how you could improve your IELTS speaking at home. We've had a look at six main skills, I mean, rather six main tips that how you could improve your skills at home and a few tips as to how you could focus on your speaking test. With that, we come to the end of this lesson.